What's up guys, it's me Vlad and today I'm going to show you how to get mods on Quest and Quest only so you won't have to have a PC to play on or a phone, I don't know, uh, you'll just be playing on Quest natively. And uh, before I start the video I just want to give you a disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes and entertainment purposes only. I don't uh, condone any use of mods on Quest or without out a quest and I don't spread any of these mods I'm not spreading I'm just uh, making a video you know and, and uh, yeah pretty much uh, I'm not spreading any of these mods so uh, the responsibility for whoever uses these mods uses this method is not on me completely so if you use this you know the respons responsibility is on you and not me so don't blame me for anything uh, just uh, wanted to give that disclaimer because I don't want to get in any legal trouble obviously if uh, for example someone wants uh, this video to get taken down you, you could just uh, ask me uh, there's an email down below you know um, and uh, I'll take it down without any problems by the way guys, I just want to mention that uh, for this tutorial you can grab like your mom's laptop, your dad's laptop, I don't know, your brother's PC, something like that. You don't exactly need a, a laptop that uh, you will play on. Uh, this is a tutorial, like I said, uh, a standalone quest tutorial, so just uh, get someone's laptop, I don't know, your friend's laptop, doesn't matter. You'll be able to uninstall everything we install or even if you don't uninstall install it it won't matter on the computer because you will be running everything from the quest from the quest you know so uh, it will be uh, way easier if you get uh, a computer and start out of doing this on the phone but uh, technically it's possible to do this on a phone or something like that uh, but uh, you will just have a lot of uh, different uh, steps that you'll have to take so yeah at the point so the point of the video is how to get mods on quest and uh, I have made a couple of videos previously showing you that you can play uh, with mods on quest and pe many people were actually curious uh, how to do that and uh, uh, I decided to make a tutorial on this uh, and uh, basically yeah show you guys uh, what you need to do so basically what you have to do at the beginning so I'm going to click on my one of my videos and uh, pretty much in this video description or not uh, this one that I clicked on but this one that you're watching there will be a discord link in the description this is my uh, discord and by the way the reserved link uh, doesn't work because uh, we don't have enough boosts anymore uh, so just click on this one if you have troubles getting into discord or something like that let me know in the comments I answer to all of the comments I try to help out everyone and uh, yeah I uh, appreciate uh, when you guys comment because you take your time and uh, I take my time to respond to you guys and like every comment. So you just click on the link down below here. It will take you to the Discord app if you have it. Uh, for example, this is uh, my Discord app right here. Uh, this uh, you can join it on the phone too. So doesn't matter. By the way, we got 5,500 members already in Discord. Kind of not 5,500 since uh, uh, there are more bots, you know, uh, than people. Or not more than whatever, you know. We have 14 bots and it's uh, not uh, 5,500 members yet. But, you know, uh, you could find some people to play with here to chat, you know. We got uh, people from different communities all over the place, multiverses, Fall Guys, and Girl Attack. So, what you'll want to do is uh, you will want to scroll down to Quest Mods right here, this section right here. And I'm going to go, you, uh, go through each step that you have to take so you guys uh, know everything you have to do. And uh, pretty much, yeah because most youtubers don't do that and uh, uh, I can kind of feel that that's kind of scummy because you don't really allow people to follow your steps uh, so yeah so pretty much uh, right here you can read what I wrote here but uh, first thing you'll want to do is you want to go up to on my twitch account 
And even if you don't have a Twitch account, it's uh, fine. And, oh, we got 900 followers. That's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, on 1,000 followers, I'm going to stream on Twitch, so stay tuned for that. You know, uh, I'm going to start uh, streaming maybe daily. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But what you'll want to do, as you can see right here, I set it. You'll want to log into your Twitch account or create one. Uh, okay, so if you have a Twitch account, log in. If you don't have a Twitch account, you can create one. Or if you cannot create a Twitch account, I'll show you later on what you can do. Uh, but next, uh, what uh, you have to do is uh, you have to uh, click on the chat section on Twitch. Many people get confused by this, but you have to click on this chat section right here. And by the way, if you don't have chat right here, you'll want to actually open it up, expand, click on expand. And uh, yeah. So next, uh, what you'll want to do is you want to follow my Twitch channel because uh, you won't be able to type in the chat without a um, basically Twitch account and follow me. Oh, someone followed me right here. You can see someone actually followed me and he disp he's displayed here. That's pretty cool, you know. So when you follow, uh, I get an alert so you can be actually in the video, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to type in quest exclamation mark quest mod just exclamation mark quest mods like this and uh, there will be a link right here i'm going to cut it out you know blur it so you guys don't have the link yourselves you know because um, to be honest i want to get more followers on twitch honestly uh, and uh, I just don't want to post a link to my discord myself and uh, yeah uh, but if you don't have a twitch account as a bonus I wrote down here you could follow my Instagram and send me a DM asking for a discord and invite link after that uh, pretty much just follow the steps in this video uh, so yep uh, here's my discord cool dude Vlad you, you could search it up on the app or just click over here and uh, you'll get sent to my uh, Instagram profile if you're curious this is my Instagram profile right here you know I'm pretty you know, you know I'm pretty pretty man okay that was pretty cringe whatever that's not the point I was making you know so this is a method to those people who cannot access twitch for some reason um yeah I'm a gaming warlord and I was awakened uh, but uh, that's not the point so after you do that you will get this link right here over here this is a different link this is for a mod menu uh, but we just click on this link and we get sent to this discord right here so by the way you won't have to stay in this discord you'll be able to just leave uh, honestly this discord isn't that good I'm just telling you my discord is better uh, not to discredit, you know, anything or something like that. By the way, I just wrote down um, that uh, I'm not associated with this server in any way. Uh, the spread of mods uh, goes to fully to their server owner. So I uh, won't get in any legal trouble, obviously. So also this guy is uh, selling a mod menu. Nah, don't buy it. Uh, just saying, you know, um, that's uh, illegal pretty much uh, but uh, that's not the point we're making you know I'm not promoting his server or anything uh, so what you will want to do is scroll down here so you're going to want to go to side quest section right here and uh, just click on uh, side quest link over here uh-huh so next uh, what you'll want to do you'll want to get the advanced installer just click on this over here this link it'll install the side quest app i'm going to cancel it uh, but in your downloads folder you'll find uh, this uh, file right here or just over here press on this file click install install and uh, you'll be able to install the side quest you can create an account or log in later on but uh, um, you don't really have to i'm pretty sure you can do this uh, without actually having to create an account uh, but uh, it's whatever just install side quest it's pretty easy if you have any questions ask me in my discord or in the comment section i'll respond to all of you guys okay 
So next, next, next. What you'll want to do, you'll want to go to Quest Patcher right here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, yeah, let's install Quest Patcher. Just click on this Quest Patcher GitHub link right here. And uh, for Mac users, you install Mac.dmg uh, for Ubuntu, which is Linux users, you install Ubuntu. For Windows uh, standalone, you install Windows standalone. I don't know what's that. Uh, but uh, for us p users or players who play on PC, we just click on Windows.exe. So install this. Wait a second. Okay. And uh, it'll be in our downloads folder, but uh, we have to install a few more things before that. So what we have to install next is uh, uh, code gen go to code gen right here and uh, you'll want to install gorilla utils right here install it okay next what you'll want to do is inst install code gen right here install code gen it can take a few seconds we don't need this um, next what we want to install is go to quest mods right here and uh, there is a bunch of quest mods, um, but uh, we'll want to go to the, actually wait a second, gonna have to find it, yeah, over here. So if you scroll a bit up from the bottom, you'll see Gorilla Tag 114. Uh, this is a, a downgraded version of Gorilla Tag, so we'll have to install this too. Just click on Mediafire, uh, click Download, and uh, pretty much it's installing it right here. It could take a bit, so just wait. By the way, to prove that this is not a virus or anything like that, I'm just going to, and I would recommend with whichever mods you install, mod menus, whatever, I would recommend going to, uh, what is it called, virus total, and scanning each file you install. So for example, quest patcher, we can see that this isn't a, a virus. We can uh, check uh, code gen 2, you know, gorilla utils. So you can see none of these are a virus. We can then check this right here. Be basically what the virus total does, it uh, just shows you if uh, from like, as you could see, 59 antivirus software it checks it manually through each one and it shows you if like any antiviruses detected that there is a, a uh, like a uh, virus or something like that basically so i recommend going through them uh and uh yeah uh but next uh, what we want to actually download to will be let me actually see uh, there's quite a few things you have to download. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, gorilla tag computer. Yeah, monkey computer activator. We have to download this. So we can check if it's a virus, no viruses. Yeah, mon monkey activator right here. Oh my god, someone followed me on Twitch. You could see, you could follow me on Twitch, you know, appear on the screen whenever I record a video. Okay, next what you want to do is download, there should be monkey computer and monkey computer. I'm blind, I'm blind, you know, I'm blind. Monkey computer activate right here. As you can see, it has thumbs up. So you could see which mods are good to download by thumbs up and stuff like that. So just download monkey computer. Okay guys, so after you installed all of these files right here, what you'll want to do next is you want to get your quest right here. You'll want to put it on your head and you'll want to go ahead and delete or uninstall Gorilla Tag. If you don't know how to do that, you just uh, go to the menu section with uh, your games and you'll see Gorilla Tag right there. And what you'll want to do, you'll want to click on the three dots when you hover over it and you'll want to click on uninstall and then click uninstall again. And uh, you'll be able to uninstall Gorilla Tag that way. By the way, you'll keep all of your cosmetics. So if you're concerned for your 
cosmetics, your precious cosmetics, uh, you'll still have them because they're locked to your account and uh, you cannot get rid of them that simply. Uh, but, but, after you do this, it can take a few minutes to uninstall the game, for, at least for me. But after you did that, you're free to continue with the next step. And the next step is to actually... Where's my cable? Oh my god. Yep, I lost the cable, but I found it. So here, you'll need a cable that has a USB-C connector. And, uh... Oh my god. Focus, focus up. Focus, don't focus on me. Focus on the thingy. Whatever. But you'll need a charger cable or a USB-C to USB-A cable. Doesn't matter. So... Uh, just find one whatever works for you. For example, my keyboard I had a USB-C to USB-A cable, so that works. You don't need a like link cable. A standard uh, charger cable works, you know. So you could just uh, get that if you have a USB-C port on your computer. So what you'll do next is you'll want to actually plug in the USB cable into your computer. By the way, just wanted to mention it guys, you don't need a computer necessarily. You can do this on a laptop, you can just borrow someone's laptop because you won't have to actually use the laptop later on. You can just borrow someone's laptop, borrow someone's computer, for example, your mom's laptop, your mom's computer, I don't know, your dad's laptop, someone's, you know, brothers, sisters, uh, and just do this and after that you can forget about the laptop just give it back uninstall the programs or whatever you don't really need to uninstall them uh, but pretty much you don't need really your own computer for this because you will play on the quest the quest power will basically you'll be using the quest power to play with mods you know you won't be using your computer since you'll be basically installing quest version of mods. So next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to plug in your quest and uh, turn it on. My quest is really low, so that's kind of a problem, but you want to plug in the USB-C into your charger slot. So just uh, plug it in right over there, like I did, and uh, you'll be fine. So plug it in. And uh, after you plug it in, by the way, I just wanted to mention that uh, it will display a prompt, so you'll have to turn it on first, and then you'll have to put it on your head, and it will display a prompt uh, saying something like, uh, do you want to allow this computer your file access, or something like that, and those lines. And you'll just have to click or on either always allow or just allow. I would recommend to click on always allow because that works uh, most of the time for me and uh, it was just uh, way easier to manage because once you reconnect the cable and uh, for example, if you mess something up, you'll have to click on allow again if you just click on allow and not always allow, so yeah. Um, that was kind of tough to understand, but whatever. So next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to search up side quest on your computer, or just find the side quest app that you installed. If you haven't installed it previously, just go to your downloads folder. Let me actually find it all over here. Uh, yep, as you can see, side quest. Just uh, double click on this, install it. I already have side quest, so I'm not going to install it again. But just double click on the program, go through the installation process, and yeah. Uh, next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to find side quest, open it up. Okay, so I'm opening side quest right here. As you could see, what when it says and shows a green dot right here, this means that you did everything right, and you plugged in your headset. And by the way, thank you to side quest. Um, you know. Uh, people who make side quests because they removed the IP address over here um, and uh, yeah I think a lot of people out of youtubers when they used side quest they leaked their IP and that's not really good uh, but next what you want to do is actually you'll want to go and uh, click on install apk from folder on computer 
you'll want to do that as you can see I have hopefully I didn't leak anything but I have a bunch of videos these are my TikToks and stuff like that but it doesn't matter so you'll want to go to your downloads folder or wherever uh, the browser defaultly installs the files or whatever you pick you know the browser to install the files so for example for me it's download so I just click on download and here I have to find the gorilla tag 114 that we actually downloaded if you didn't download it it's over here somewhere yeah it's this file right here monkey map loader no it's not monkey map loader uh, be careful not to install the monkey map loader install gorilla tag 114 just install this and uh, find it over here in your downloads folder just uh basically click on it click open and it should say installing apk right here if you have any issues troubles or something like that let me know in the comments or let me know in my discord because i am out everyone with uh, any problems they have uh, in my discord for example and uh, we just have a great community here okay so next, next, what we we'll want to do is we we'll want to see if the task is running. As you can see, running zero tasks. It install the APK. Okay. And uh, by the way, if you didn't, uh, if you probably got an error right here, it's because you didn't uninstall the game on your quest. You have to uninstall the game first. Install Gorilla Tag, and you won't get any errors. Okay next 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 thing you will want to do is uh, close the side quest app and go to your uh download folder again so over here you'll see quest patch windows we'll want to double click on this uh i'll click on install only for me and click accept agreement uh click next click install uh -huh. Yep, and it installs it. I'm going to blur out the direction it installs. Uh -huh. So we just, by the way, this is applicable for Quest 1. So if you're playing on a first quest, you can do this. And if you're playing on a second quest, you can do this too. Okay, so we click finish and we wait a bit. It can take longer for you guys to download it. Uh, yep, for me, it's pretty fast, I would say okay and yeah so next what you want to do you'll want to click patch my app and this can take a bit this could take a while for some people my pc is pretty fast so you know uh, you know it will take faster than your pc probably maybe not some people have better pc than me obviously um but yeah if you're curious what pc i have i have uh 2070 RTX uh, with i7-800 or 8-700, you know, 8700. Uh, oh my god, I cannot think uh, of a word, whatever, you know, um, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, next uh, we have this, uh, basically this menu, this piece of text saying patching is complete. And we just click OK, and uh, yeah, oh, pretty much uh, the main part of our tutorial is done. Then what we want to do next is uh, insert, um, I'm pretty sure, mo Monkey Computer Activator right here. Just uh, outdated mod, click Enable now, uh -huh. yeah, click OK, then you want to install uh, monkey computer mod by the way i'm doing this by just uh, dragging left clicking you know left holding the click and uh dropping it over here and we just click enable now doesn't matter uh, they will enable once we install everything okay just click okay doesn't matter then we install code gen code gen i remember when i first installed this i was kind of weird it out weird it out that it didn't work but it's whatever click enable now then we'll want to install gorilla utils just click enable now and uh, we pretty much have everything downloaded so we need to enable monkey uh, computer 
continue anyway we will have to enable this outdated mod doesn't matter so after we do this we have uh, monkey computer activator monkey computer monkey code gen and the uh, gorilla utils so you'll need this if you don't have this this won't work okay next uh, we'll want to download the mods we actually want you know uh, the mods uh, we actually want to use so the main mods that i used uh where let's uh, go to the server and actually let's see so the main mods that i was using were in my video that i was showing you guys previously i'm pretty sure it was uh the platforms mod by the way you could see which mods are good which mods are bad uh, by the likes dislikes whatever for example, this one is uh, normal. Magic Monkey seems uh, normal. And uh, by the way, my Discord, you can communicate uh, which uh, mods are good, which mods are bad, and then in the comments, you can recommend which mods you found uh, that are actually decent or good. Okay. So over here, I would recommend Gravity Monkey. I think this one is fine. Platform Monkey. Um, oh, wait a second. Iron Monkey. Tag on. I don't think it works. Uh-huh. Oh, wait a second. Monkey Trail. I mean, you could download this. Seems fine. Let's, let's check if it has any viruses. No viruses. Let's upload to upload uh, the file. What you'll want to do, you'll want to open up your downloads folder uh, right here and you'll want to drag and drop it over here. For example, enable now, doesn't matter. We got a trail now. Done. Uh, public long arms, I guess. Uh, this one is decent. Uh huh. Uh, okay, just uh, let's chat let's yeah let's see it's decent then we post it here enable now okay uh where is it platform monkey yeah this one seems good although many people dislike this one so i'm not going to post this or not going to download this i'm actually not sure which platform monkey is the right platform monkey that i was using uh huh, but I would actually just recommend uh, getting this one platform monkey. For example, let's get it. Why not? Let's check if it's good. Yep, no viruses or anything. Let's upload it. Enable now. Yeah, as you can see, platform monkey, rising lava seems good. Iron monkey, whatever and uh, you could do this with uh, every mod whatever whichever mod you wish to do this and guys if i actually helped you let me know in the comments so other people know that this is actually working and this is not a scam or anything like that i really appreciate your comment and i will like every comment that people post and respond to each comment and pretty much after this you can just what wait a minute so you can just unplug the quest right here and uh, i'll show you the gameplay with mods next from my previous video obviously if you haven't seen it uh, you'll be pretty interested in mods that i'm going to show you guys uh, but you'll just see the mods that i'm using and uh yeah let me know in the comments guys have this worked for you if it didn't let me know in the comments and uh, by the way i would just recommend after this leaving the discord server because to be honest the discord server um, is pretty shady you know uh, i don't have anything against the server owner or maybe i kind of do since he posts uh, quest mods and they're kind of illegal um which i'm not fully sure of but uh, it's whatever so after this guys you could uh, actually 
uh, whenever there's a video over here, you could uh, just react to it with a like if this worked, dislike if it didn't work, you know, and uh, you could subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of cool real tag content and I'm going to post uh, news, leaks, stuff like that about Fall Guys and how to get mods, uh, the different mods, mod menus, stuff like that. So if you're interested or into that, subscribe, you won't regret it. If you watched the video until the end, comment down below. I got my quest mods and everything worked. This will be the end of the video phrase and I'll respond to you with a secret message, secret comment, you know. Uh, this is our daily end of the video phrase. Oh, and by the way guys, don't click off the video, now you'll be able to see gameplay of uh, me playing with quest mods. Uh, on quest, you know, without a PC or anything else, you know, so you'll be able to see how the mods work, how to actually uh, use the menu, and uh, pretty much, yeah, download, uh, and uh, we just have to click on girl tag, open, and click uh, cancel for the update, or actually update later, probably, or cancel, no, update later, I guess. Click on that, we don't want to update the game, uh, click allow permissions to access photos media on your device because uh, it's probably getting the mods and stuff from there and yeah guys yeah, sorry that there's no webcam I'm allowed to record audio i don't know why it needs that oh it's uh, pretty much you get the screen when you first join gorilla tag you can click uh, allow or deny and i'll click allow but yeah, after you had joined, oh, I cannot turn with my stick. Oh my god, this is kind of, this is kind of cool. But like, we're in the old gorilla tag setting here. Yeah, I cannot uh, turn with my stick for some reason. Hopefully, I won't hit anything. But on the grip buttons, we have platforms which actually work, as you could see. Okay. And uh, yeah, as you can see, everything works. Um, I'm not sure how we. Oh yeah, just press on this, and there's the banana OS, and click enter, and you could see the uh, monkey watch by, and you could see like monkey watch. I want to capture in full screen for you guys to see. No. Oh my god. Let's just get up there and I'll show you it. Show you guys it. Pretty much. If you couldn't download like plat monkey platforms and stuff or platforms on your like girl attack game, this is a pretty cool experience if you never had done it. Because like for example some people don't have a good PC. And uh, this is a great way for them to actually try out mods and stuff. By the way, we're in autumn right now, fall. Um, and as you could see, we just... Oh my god. Just click on this. Oh, we have to make it like this. Pretty much. And as you could see, we have our... Let me just put this like this. I'll put it in thumbnail. This will be my thumbnail and stuff. I don't know. Man, I'll only make a thumbnail. So, okay. What it says is uh, scoreboard. I don't know what scoreboard it is. You're not in a room, please. Oh, okay, I guess that's a scoreboard for how much people tagged and stuff. So we go back. Details disconnect gravity monkey. Okay, let's do gravity monkey. It's pretty tough, actually. Navigate this menu. Oh, um, gravity monkey. Enter. Disabled. Enable. As you can see, we have gravity. Oh. Wait, what is happening? I'm confused. We're kind of getting, like, attached. What is hap- Yo, my, my platforms are saving me. Oh, I guess the gravity is kind of broken. But yeah, the gra the platforms are kind of saving you with the gravity monkey mod and stuff. 
Well, that, that's pretty cool. I never played Girl Attack when there was like Fall update. You could say that I'm not an OG. By the way, I want to go into the um, the computer uh, stomp or whatever it's called with the computer and see what it's like there because I'm kind of pissed off that I cannot rotate my camera okay oh by the way we have the cosmetics I'm gonna show you them damn the computer is old huh sadly your game is outdated if you wish to update your game then delete it uh, using the tools uh, in the quest patcher and uh, reinstall after reinstalling uh, you can then patch again after update uh, mods can break Please be patient while you're being updated by the way guys for those I heard like uh, People like asking how to actually like go back to your normal gorilla tag and I'm pretty sure or all you have to do is just um, Delete your game and update it and also if that didn't work just join my discord i'm gonna probably have already like a solution to that um but i'm pretty sure it's just as simple as installing a new update to the game and yeah um and can we like do anything here i'm pretty sure no okay i'll disable the gravity thingy enter Finally, yeah, because the gravity is kind of broken. Not kind of, but just like broken in general. By the way, I want to go into this room. Isn't this the cosmetics room? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, it's just the city. What is in the city currently? What cosmetics? Autumn. Can we buy them? Remove from cart. Uh, hmm. Let's see. That's me. Yo. Okay. Go back. Let's see what we have here. Platform Monkey V2. We can enable it and disable it. I'm pretty sure. Last platform size, default, we can change it. Let's change the right platform size to one. Yeah, small platform. Damn, this is actually so cool. We don't have those in the current menu, so this is really cool experience. Platform, man. Imagine just like doing stuff, you know, cool stuff. Oh, by the way, we have the textures here. So this is the mod. We have this texture, which I'm pretty sure Shiba uses in his vids. We have the rainbow monkey. Some people call it the gay monkey. <laughs> okay. Um, I had a wish crack that was so frustrating. We have the golden monkey. We have the... I don't know. This monkey. We have the this which doesn't work. We have the regular monkey. Have neon. It's without neon, I guess, huh? I'm not. It doesn't do anything. By the way, you can like. Wait. Oh, we have a white and a black platform. I think it's a cool concept that platforms are just left. Uh, people don't do that anymore. I don't know, I kind of don't like that people don't do that. I think there, that should be an option in the menus currently because it's really cool that you can just make a platform and just like sit on it and stuff. You know, for other people, we'll be flying and stuff. You know? Okay. Um, I'm not sure, how do I select these? Oh, yeah, I selected that. Uh-huh, there's one more hat here. Okay. Yeah, use this button to trigger. Damn, I'm Mr. Mr. Game Monkey, ha ha ha. 
funny when you see with a mod made you man this is so cool yeah maybe for a thumbnail picture for a thumbnail man this mod is disabled to play not being a private monkey huh wait what monkey color oh that's monkey color um technically it says black um what can we do oh we can change the um black i am purple pink because you can see changes pretty cool monkey color what is it monkey color i'm pretty sure it's black for this and troy color um how do I go down? I think I don't think I can go down. Stick platform. I'm not sure. Is this like sticky platforms? Early version? And then thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. Um but yeah. Remove platform Stack platform to hand. Oh, I get it. I get it. You have s platforms that just stick to the hand, which is really weird. Yeah, they're just sticking to the hand. And you could just like go like this, holding it. I don't know. It's really weird. Okay. What is next? I'm confused. I don't see where my cursor is. Enter. Remove platform on release. Oh. Damn, we should get this. Man, I'm so kind of pissed off. That uh, we cannot get this. Because, like, in the current mods... Oh, damn, this is pretty cool. In the current uh, mods... We don't have this option. And this menu was done so good. It can actually pins and stuff. Uh, whatever. Early access. This came out of early access. Get all these cosmetics with the early access supporter pack coming soon for Oculus. Oh, pretty cool. Wasn't there early access? I don't see this badge anywhere, really. Okay. I guess I'm gonna disable these. Just go back. Let's see what we have next. Anti cheat. Host false. Enable IP private room mod run. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to actually do this. But yeah, I guess that's why uh, the mods were disabled. Long arm monkey. Disabled. And they. Man, what, what is this? This is where my hand is, near the watch, but like, huh? Bro, it's so, I would bet to see what it looks like. Is there ice map, apparently? No, there isn't. What is there? Info. Man, I wanna see info. I wanna see this previous version of Girl Attack. This is a bonus content in the video. Every day you'll visit Girl Attack World, you'll get 100 shiny rocks, add cosmetics to your cart. Wait, we don't get 100 shiny rocks anymore. Uh, oh, to you purchase uh, more shiny rocks. Okay, change your uh, worn cosmetics in the wardrobe next door or in the tree. How did they? Oh, yeah. I don't know about the, the like, there was a mod with the separate section in the tree. I don't know about that mod. Man, but these long arms are actually sick. They're not the ones who are getting in the quest or like usual mods right now. Damn. Well, let's go faster. Yeah, I don't think we can go up anywhere. Okay, let's see. By the way, 
for those people who didn't see this message here, it's pretty much saying, uh, please update uh, to the latest version of Gorilla Tag. You're on an old version. Feel free to run around, uh, but you won't be able to play with anyone else. Yep. Yeah, but what the man? What is wrong with the long arms? Yeah, but you kind of don't go like bigger. You just have to like, or just you don't go um, uh, higher and stuff. I'm like, I cannot wall climb at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm really bad at wall climbing, so yeah, don't expect anything good of me, guys. I have like max 40 hours in the game, I would say. Yeah, I was uh, speaking to a guy on Discord today, and I told him that I have 20 to 30 hours in the game. But that's kind of true, though. <laughs> I don't have much hours in Girl Attack at all. Yeah, but you gotta put, like, low effort into the moves for it to actually work. Damn. Can we go here? Oh my god. I think, yeah, we cannot go here. Yeah, it's restricted. Now it's not restricted. Or actually, no, it's not restricted. Damn. I don't know why Lemming haven't pa patched it. Actually, it's kind of cool, but like, it's hard to get out of it. But yeah, these were the mods. Wait, how do long arms work with... Nah. Long arms don't work with the platforms. At all. Yeah, but I'm not the guy to show you some branching and stuff. The tutorial guy, you know? You know those? Yeah, I'm not that guy. You know, I'm just a casual guy who shows you mods. Explains you everything. Oh, damn, I actually did something. Yeah. But, you know, guys, I'll appreciate if you subscribe. Because more content coming soon. Hopefully, I don't hit my closet or anything. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, this hand is kind of scuffed. Yeah, but uh, these mods are pretty cool. I would recommend trying them out to everyone. Even if you have, like, girl attack already installed and stuff. With mods on PC, the, this is just a pretty cool addition to try, you know, because we won't be able to do this later on, probably. Some files are gonna get like patched and stuff. Maybe actually we will, but like, what if patch the patcher get like gets like disabled or something? You know, you gotta try some, everything in life. But yeah, I'm really bad and I cannot turn with my stick, so that's kind of unfortunate. Which I'm just doing every day, really. When I play play gorilla tag. Oh, but yeah, guys. Don't forget to sub, have a great day, stay positive, and be as big as my end. You know, you see them? Man. Yep, bye bye. Let's get out of the map real quick. I wanna just get out of the map and see what happens if... By the way, the grip monkey should... Can I get out? My hands are so small! Why are they so small? Yeah, I'm not sure. Are the slippery, slippery walls working? Yeah, the, the... My hands are so small! They're not that small in real life! Yeah, I'm pretty sure the grip monkey is also working, so... This, no! 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 I don't wanna ruin all of my progress. I wanna just, like, see what happens. I come to see a map. Uh, why are my hands so small? They're so scuffed. No, I don't want to go back. Not enable, man. I'm gonna enable it. Whatever. Just kidding. Whatever. I'm going downhill with you guys, and let's see what happens. Uh huh. Yeah, this is the menu I got, by the way.
previously. So we just click at the beginning. Yeah, guys, have a good day, and if you want to fix it, just restore the app, and bye-bye. Uh, um, this was a cool experience to have, and I appreciate all of you guys who subscribed and joined my Discord. We have like two sub 200 subscribers, and almost 1,000 uh, supporters in my mem or members in my Discord. I'm really thankful for you, all of you guys, and bye-bye, stay happy, stay positive. What is up guys, it's me Vlad, and I know I haven't recorded videos in a while, and that's because I pretty much got a strike uh, on this channel, and uh, I was kind of bummed down because it wasn't like a strike for anything uh, big in particular, it was uh, something small, and uh, I technically shouldn't have gotten a strike for it, uh, but since we got 500 subs on this channel, you know I haven't actually thought that we would go this far i decided to make a video for you guys and today's video will be actually proving that you can still get quest mods uh without a pc you can play with mods without a pc it's not a tutorial so uh don't actually think that i'm going to show you how to actually do this because technically if i show you how to do this it's kind of illegal so you know i don't want to get in any trouble so um i'm just going to show you that this is possible and uh, there's actually a way to do it you know if you're pretty smart enough uh, but you know uh so let me open my girl attack update later and uh, there's a mod menu actually and i have a bunch of mods installed if you're an og you may actually have seen this mod menu stuff like that as you can see there's a watch right here and as you can see i have a platform and stuff like that the bad thing is that i can't really um turn around with a stick and that's oh my god i don't want to hit anything uh and that's because pretty much this is an older version of Girl Attack, so didn't have this feature back then. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much as you can see, I got a menu right here, and this menu is actually far more advanced than usual mod menus than we have right now, even on PC. And I'm kind of like. I don't know how I feel about that, considering that all of the mod menus we have on PC right now are pretty much the same, be besides the 70s mod menu, and uh, uh, shout out to 70s for making good mods, and technically it's not a mod menu, and I'm all in for that, because I don't really promote any like mod menu with like cheats and stuff like that, I don't want to at least, right now, you know. I kind of want to make like videos about uh, mods, stuff like that, uh, news about uh, Gorilla Tag on this channel and stuff like that, pretty much. Not really. Maybe showcase uh, sometimes, you know, but um, not. Uh, I'm not going to be like spreading mod news and stuff like that. Uh, but guys, uh, still, you could join my Discord, the link is in the description if you want. Uh, it's uh, a Discord with 4,000, like 800 members currently, so uh, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably gonna be more, you know? So you can find someone to play with, and I hit something, and I'm really scared, I don't wanna die, you know? Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I don't wanna break my hands, really. You know, trust me, trust me. This is actually smaller than it used to be, I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually touched my VR in like three weeks. And also part of the reason why I wasn't making YouTube videos on this channel at least is because I kind of get headaches and uh, eye strain from uh, VR. So it's not like I can play it for 24 hours. And um, also it's really hot in the summer. And I mean, I kind of stay at home during the whole summer so um that was a problem but it's just really hot uh, to play vr sometimes so i sometimes sweat a lot and um uh, it's uh, pretty annoying to record videos like that but i actually fixed the, the problem kinda because um, uh, you know 
uh, I just uh, made uh, my headset uh, tighter, so it's not that problem, but I had like a problem when I was recording a video, so that uh, my actually headset was falling off and stuff like that, and it's really frustrating and annoying, and I kind of hate it, but that's not a point, I kind of got uh, off topic right there, sorry for that. Uh, we're gonna continue with the mod menu, actually we haven't started, uh, but this is Banana OS, man. Uh, click enter, as you can see you got the scoreboard, this is the scoreboard in the room, then we got some details, uh, you know you have been banned, you will not be able to play the game. Uh, technically I haven't been banned, uh, I'm just on the older version, so if I go there... For example, it should say that I have to update the version. Wait, I haven't... What? I haven't... I have been banned? Man, what? Whatever. A ban evasion. Hmm? Yeah, whatever. Uh, this is an older version, so it doesn't really matter. And have never evaded any bans whatsoever, but whatever. Um... This is an older version of the game, which you can freely install on the internet, you know, interwebs, I'm not promoting anything, not, don't install this, you know, don't do anything like that, this is just educational purposes only, and entertaining purposes, I'm not promoting anything, you know, uh, and uh, yeah. I'm also not abusing this, that it doesn't hurt anyone, you know, this, this mod menu, I don't want to get in any troubles and stuff like that, so I'm just saying that, uh, you know, um, uh, but yeah, so what we have here is uh, disconnect, you could disconnect, I'm pretty sure, um, man, it's not going down, it's pretty hard. To actually ma manage this disconnect, we're not gonna disconnect. Then we have Gravity Monkey. This Gravity Monkey is so scuffed, man. I remember I played with it. It just, if you wait, it doesn't work. It kind of worked previously. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it kind of works, but it doesn't. If you fall from the high ground, as you can see, it's going really weird. And all of a sudden, I don't know. But I mean, I can wall climb, you know, I cannot wall climb regularly, but I can wall climb this way, you know. Yeah, and this mod menu doesn't hurt anyone, you cannot use it in pubs, you cannot use it in anywhere, you know. This is uh, just, um, you know, it's um, in the offline mode only, in the previous version, which you cannot play anything really in here, you know. So yeah. Uh, let's disable it, click enter, man, it's so scuffed, because when I press on the grip button, it actually um, uses the gravity, the platforms or whatever, so it's uh, way harder to uh, manage the menu. Uh, platform Monkey V2 by Cool Monkey Modders, and uh, this actual mod is really sick. We have the platform size, this was uh, what I'm talking about. You cannot do this in any new mod menu, at least uh, that I know of. You can change the platform size. For example, for the left one, as you can see, I'm kind of stuck here. Um, then you could do the same thing for the right one, you know. Um, you can change the colors. Huh? Oh my god. Yeah, you can make this platform right here. You know, ouch, man, can I get out? Uh, yeah, this is really heavy, hefty chunk. What is this? Oh, this is big. You know, we got the big platform. Wait a minute, wait a second. Yeah, you could see, it's pretty big. Um, then we have the, um, actually, let's make it smaller a bit. I don't really care enough for the uh, platforms this big. Then we have the um, platform color, monkey color, black, gray, white, as you can see. And this is not for individual platforms too. So you could change it based on the platform you want. You see, this one can be white, black, 
Well, you call it Troy, Cayenne, or Cyan, whatever. Uh huh. Then we have uh, the right platform color. So as you can see, changes and stuff like that, whatever. Um, remove platform on release. So this is actually pretty sick. If we do this, so it uh, does what the regular mod menus do right now in Grill Attack, or they used to do. I don't know what's happening in the mod modding community right now. Honestly, I actually kind of stopped making videos for the reason that the modding community is pretty shady, but I don't really want to associate with any of the modding community, like the shady part of it. Because even I spoke with some people from my community, they think the same way, it's like really shady and stuff like that. Because people like dox each other, people DDoS servers, people or raid servers or whatever it's called. Um, but um, it's really weird, I don't understand why people do that, I guess. The community is just full of little kids that uh, actually cannot control their emotions. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's the only, um, thing I could actually, um, say about that. Uh, but yeah, sticky platforms, uh, these are platforms that are sticky. Uh, they stick to your hands, actually, and you could do some cool stuff, you know? Uh, I don't know. They stick to your, to your hands, and actually, I never saw this, uh, in any of other mod menus previously, like, uh, uh, Oh, some other ones on PC. It's actually pretty sick. And uh, they also leave out. And this is actually the best uh, thing, kind of, in my opinion. Uh, the best settings on here. Whatever. Um, uh, yep. Disable. So... Uh, anti tag cheat, uh, uh, it doesn't work or anything like that. So don't bother. Long arm monkey. This is a monkey with long arms and it's really skull. But I mean, it kind of works, you know. Um, I, and I honestly don't know how to run on the walls. But, you know, uh, people who do know, you know, you could wall run and i mean i haven't put uh, that many hours into grill attack to actually like do a lot of stuff like wall running uh lucia running and stuff like that because i get like eye strain and headaches whenever i play vr for a long time and that's uh, like what i said previously uh but yeah these are actually pretty sick because uh, i'm like Putting out my arms near my body, and as you can see, it's just giving me long arms. This is like for the max um, arm length. This is the max, but I'm pretty sure it's the max arm length either way. You do it, uh, but yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about this, you know, your thoughts, uh, stuff like that. Also, join my Discord, because you can find some cool people to play with. Um, I don't distribute mods, really, but there's a method of getting a mod menu, not for me, you know, because I don't associate with that, but uh, I have a method there if you need. But it's uh, not for quest mods, obviously I don't distribute quest mods because that's illegal, uh, which I found out uh, from Mono, and also shout out to that dude, um, uh, and yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, pretty much that's it, thank you for watching the video, have a great day, see you later guys, and um, uh, I don't know what I'm doing currently, this is pretty cursed, honestly. Yeah, this is pretty cursed, I would say. Um, but yeah, actually the platforms are even like closer to your body than the actual hands. And that's actually pretty weird, you know?
So I'm getting stuck in the platforms because I'm going too fast. And yeah, I guess I'm stuck. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. As you can see, this is, uh, you know, Curl Attack on Quest. I don't uh, condone any use of mods on Quest, not Quest, you know, anything like that. This is just for entertainment purposes only, you know. Pretty much, yeah, I don't distribute any mod menus on Quest, any mods, anything like that. And I don't condone, like, using the previous versions of the game, stuff like that, installing that, you know. I'm just saying that so I don't get in any troubles, you know. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what are your thoughts on this. Um, and, uh, pretty much, yeah. Also, if you have any questions, let me know on my Discord. I talk to everyone there. And also, I reply to all the comments on my YouTube. I just appreciate all of you guys commenting, taking your time to comment, subscribe, and stuff like that. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.